And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Alan Shoemaker. 642 here on this Monday morning. A uh, weak cold front has rolled through and temperatures won't be dropping suddenly at all. We'll just have a light northerly flow behind the front, about 5 to 10 miles per hour with the wind speeds this morning. But uh, it is enough to uh, bring down temperatures a few degrees today, but we will have some clouds at times too. Temperatures aren't chilly at all this morning. It's still above 60 in many areas, 60 in Wessel Coast, 60 in Harlingen, and 64 in Rio Grande City. There's uh, some clouds, uh, like I said, scattered around, but not enough to give us any rain today. So this afternoon, looking for dry weather, temperatures should bounce back into the 70s. Clouds may thicken up from time to time, especially, I think, closer to the coast. So it may be a couple degrees cooler in parts of Cameron County, but most places in the low to mid 70s today and maybe as warm as 78 in Rio Grande City. Your day planner, we go from 60s this morning with you know, kind of in and out of some clouds to still partly sunny or mostly cloudy skies at times today and temperatures back in the 70s. So we may, may still see some clouds hanging around, but like I said, not enough thickness to the clouds to really block out all the sun or bring back any rain chances. Weak cold front has moved through the area, kind of passing just south of the valley now out of Cameron County, but behind the front, the air is not exceptionally cold. Uh, future track does have clouds around today. You notice how the clouds really don't totally go away, they kind of get some holes in them from time to time, but kind of a partly sunny to maybe mostly cloudy day at times, but probably sunniest uh, later this afternoon in parts of the valley. And then tonight, still some clouds in and out of the skies, but dry weather expected. Tuesday is another day when the clouds are kind of you know, here, part of the day, maybe thickening, thinning from time to time, but temperatures still probably back at least in the upper 60s tomorrow, a, a day maybe a little cooler than today. And by Wednesday, the clouds could, could start to thicken more. And I think Wednesday is a day when we won't see very much sunshine at all. And that could be a trend for Thursday and Friday coming up as the rain chances start to increase. But we're looking for mainly dry weather today and tomorrow, maybe a 10% chance of a sprinkle Wednesday, but our best rain chance day should come later in the week by about Friday as a storm system kind of moves across Texas, but keeps most of the big rain to the north later this week. Highs a day in the 70s across the valley again, and coolest near the coast, and expecting high temperatures back around 75 on average. Still maybe a few patches of fog just over about the next maybe half hour or so right near the coast. and over southern Cameron County near Brownsville it was already dissipating. It looks like 75 degrees this afternoon and northerly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour might be a little stronger near the coast, but no more than about 20 to 25 miles per hour on some of those waters down to 52 late tonight with mostly cloudy skies returning and still kind of cool out there. Uh, you know, it could be a lot colder for December, but temperatures at least back down into the 50s again. The first 1570 forecast not a big temperature drop, like I said, with this front. We're back down in the 70s today, maybe as cool as the upper 60s tomorrow, and then near 70 on Wednesday. By the time we get to later in the week, we'll show you this uh, if you tune in on uh, 5.2 starting in at 7 a.m., that there could be some heavy rain north of the valley. If you are traveling north uh, by Friday or Friday night, say uh, Corpus Christi, San Antonio, Houston, it could be some big rain to the north, but some showers here on Friday, highs near 80, then a drop in temperatures with highs back in the 60s and clearing out for the weekend coming up. So we do have a one big chance for rain. The best chance on Friday. We'll keep tracking in your first one five forecast here on.